Moving to the wrong neighborhood could be a nightmare. Stay tuned to the very end so I can guide you and help you to choose one of the best neighborhood that will be good for you and your family. Hi, I'm Kadeen Fisher, your local realtor in Rockville, Maryland and Montgomery County, Maryland. If you ever decide to buy, sell, invest, or relocate to Rockville or Montgomery County, Maryland, please reach out to me. I would love to help you. My contact information is in the description below. This is a map of Rockville, Maryland. And just to give you an idea of the different regions and where certain things are located, let me just start by saying this area is Northern Rockville. And then this area is Southern Rockville. Therefore, if you'd rather live closer to Washington DC and or Virginia, then you would probably want to live in the lower half of Rockville. If you'd like to live closer to Durwood, the Kentlands, Gaithersburg, and Germantown, then I would definitely recommend living in the northern half, the northern parts of Rockville, Maryland. So that's just to give you an idea. We actually have I-270 running through Rockville. So whether you're going somewhere in Rockville itself, or you're going north of Rockville or south of Rockville, we have easy access using the I-270. 270 will actually eventually take you to 495. If you look here, it would eventually take you to 295 there. And here where we have the H, this is a hospital. We have the Shady Grove Hospital, which is in Rockville, Maryland. And that's located right here. And then just to give you an idea, whether you're living in the Rockshire area, the Woodley Gardens area, Lincoln Park, Newmark Commons, Twinbrook, Rollins Park area of Rockville, you can actually see that, let me show you where we have like certain schools that are located. So here, and I mentioned this on in some of my other videos, but the schools in Rockville are nationally ranked. They're ranked statewide as well as nationwide. For this one, this is Thomas S. Wooten High School. They have an A plus rating. This is Rockville High. They have an A rating. So that's a high school. And here we have Richard Montgomery High with an A plus rating. So in Rockville, we have really, really good schools as mentioned before. In addition to schools, we also have really great restaurants. So where you see all the dots, that's where we have our restaurants located. So they're all over the Rockville area. So wherever you live, you'll be close to the Rockville. So you'll be close to the restaurants. Here where you have like a lot of restaurants concentrated here, this road is called Rockville Pike, otherwise known as 355. So it's it's a main, it's a main road that goes all the way through Rockville. Hence why you see the high concentration of restaurants right here, because these are shopping centers, et cetera, et cetera. Let's take a look at groceries. If you want to find out where the grocery stores are they are all over everywhere you see these dots these are all grocery stores so in rockville you're really close to everything i've lived in rockville for the majority of my life so any questions at all that you have concerning rockville or where anything is located just call me text me email me and I, i'll be happy to reach out to you and answer all of your questions here let's take a look at hospitals so we have the Shady Grove Hospital right here, as mentioned before. And then we have some other medical facilities right where you see those dots. But again, everything is pretty close in Rockville, Maryland. So you will not be too far away if you need to get to any place. So just to recap what we spoke about earlier, we spoke about Rockville, Maryland, and we covered where some of the high schools are located, where the grocery stores are located, where we have like shopping area, transportation. We took a look at I-270 that runs directly through Rockville, as, as well as we spoke about Rockville Pike, otherwise known as 355, which is also another main roadway that runs through Rockville, 
Maryland. So based on where or what you'd like to be close to, you can choose neighborhoods that are closer to whether it's the school or whatever your preference is, or maybe you're relocating for a job. Depending on where your job is located, I could also help you to map out what your commute would, would be. So if you'd like to have a commute that's 45 minutes or less, 30 minutes or less, 15 minutes or less, you could let me know and then I could map that out and tell you which neighborhoods would fall within that distance or that time limit for your commute. Thank you so much for staying with me all the way to this point for this video. Here are some of the neighborhoods and I'm sure you've been waiting to hear this like the entire video. So here are some of the top and here are some of the best neighborhoods in Rockville to move to. There's West End Park, Potomac Oaks, Rockshire, Falls Mead, King Farm, Lakewood Estates, Glen Hills, Fallswood, Saddlebrook, Falls Bend, and those are just some of the top neighborhoods in Rockville and some of the best neighborhoods. There are others that are also really good, but those are just some of the top ones and some of the best neighborhoods. I am Kadeen Fisher, your local realtor in Rockville, Maryland and Montgomery County. If you ever decide to buy, sell, invest, or relocate to Rockville or Montgomery County, Maryland, please reach out to me. I would love to help you. My contact information is in the description below. I look forward to hearing from you. Oh,